Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black, though he's white. He's a European, a Caucasian. But you can't say Mr. Uh, Mr. Abu uh, Aswad. You can't say in Arabic this is Mr. Aswad. He is Mr. Black. If I say in Urdu, I say he is Mr. Black hair. I can't say he is Mr. Kala. You know? It's ridiculous. I have no right to translate names of people. You know, at one time, the president of South Africa was Munir Swat. Munir in Afrikaans means Mr. Swat means black. Munir Swat means Mr. Black. But I have to retain the word Swat to tell you that he's an Afrikaner. If I translate it as Mr. Black, you might think he's an Englishman. If I translate it as Mr. Kala, you think he's a Pakistani. Can you see? If I translate it as Zulu, Nimzan Myama, it means black. He'll think he's a Zulu, the president of South Africa. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. Now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we say, when we analyze, but to give you further proof, that this sickness has been very common among the translators of the Bible, more especially in Christendom. You see, they have been translating names like, for example, Messiah. Messiah. Jesus was the Messiah. Hebrew word, Messiah. In Arabic, Masih. Translated, Christ. How does that come about? How do we call him Christ? I said, you see, the Hebrew word Messiah or Masih means to anoint, to rub over. You know when we Muslims, when we go for Salat, prayer, we make wudu, ablution. And in the part of our ablution, besides washing the hands, brushing the teeth, washing the face, washing the feet, the arms up to the elbows, we wet our hands and we rub them over. This way. Every Muslim does that. If he's particularly with his prayers five times a day, he does that. Every time he makes wudu, he, after washing everything, he wets his hands and he rubs them over. Like this, like that, and like that. What do you call that? Masa. See, we say masa. Masa comes from the Hebrew word. Same word, basa. Masa, masaha in Arabic and Hebrew means to rub, to massage, to anoint. And the person who is so done, we call him Messiah, Masi, on whom this was done. Priests and kings were anointed, means rubbed over with holy oil or holy water. Say, from today you are our priest, our imam, or from today you become our ruler. See, we say like the coronation ceremony, you have the gowning ceremony, now you have the anointing ceremony. That's what it means, anointed. So, Messiah, in Greek, translated in the Greek is Christos. Christos means anointed. And they take off the os. Christos is a bit lengthy, so you get left with Christ. Christ means the anointed one, the one who is anointed. Priests and kings were anointed. So this is the title of Jesus, Hazrat Isa Alayhi Salaam. Jesus again was not his name. His name was classical Yeshua. Esau, Isa. That was his name. In the Hebrew language, when he was born, his mother didn't give him the name Jesus because there's no such word as Jesus in Hebrew. J, the J is not there. It's Isus, Esau, Isa. Yeshua. Classical Yeshua. But they have a, a habit. The Western, he has a sickness for adding J's where there are no J's. They have what is called a J sickness. So Yusuf, there's a Joseph. Yaqub, there's a Jacob. See? <laughs> Yohanna, there's a John. Where there is no J, they put a J. 
Latinizing the, the word as if it sounds like Western. This is a sickness. All subject people have, but more particularly the Christians had it. They add J's. It says Yahuwah. So the Jehovah's Witness was Jehovah. They put a J with this no J. Wherever. This is, I say, in, in religion, they do jaywalking. In my country, you can be charged for jaywalking. Jaywalking means, you know, you cross the street, you know, where there's not pedestrian crossing. There's supposed to be certain pedestrian crossing in our main roads. And if you cross anywhere else, the police on the other side, he can catch you and he can give you a ticket for what is called jaywalking. The Christians have jaywalked into people's names. Anywhere, everywhere.